Welcome back to She Living. I am Angela. My channel is all about living in your faith, living in a world full of food, and living a lifestyle that inspires. If this is something that you want to be a part of, come on. Come on. Today, I'm going to start a series that I've been seeing all over YouTube. But however, I've been talking about this topic forever, it seems like. And I'm like, okay, I've been talking about this topic forever. So let's do the whole series on my YouTube channel because I have an ebook called Becoming the Woman of Your Dream. It's free. I'll have it in the link below. You can download it and you can get all the goodies that we're going to talk about in the seven steps of becoming the woman of your dreams. As you see, I am wearing the Fruitful Wife uh, new tee. If there's something that you're interested in also, I will have her description in the box below. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's get into this series. Becoming the woman of your dreams. So oftentimes we hear that, um, I want to find the man of my dreams. I want to be the woman of his dreams. I want to be this and that for somebody else. What about the woman for you? Let me share this little story with you. Genesis 3 and 6. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and desirable to make one wise, she took of the fruit and ate. This scripture is a perfect situation that God had for us. A perfect situation that God had for Adam and Eve. And it is called the fall of man or the fall of woman. But sometimes something tempts the woman. We as women, we always want more. Even in our own humble and meek way, we say we don't. Even in our own ladylike and dainty self, we always want more. And contrary to what some may think, a lot of us want to be in control. The woman is tempted by the serpent. She eats the fruit and gives it to her husband. This is one of the, of the most fatal moments in scripture and in the history of the world. After listening to the lies, the woman saw the forbidden fruit pleasing to her eyes. However, there's a saying, everything that looks good to you ain't always good for you. However, there's a saying, I just said that, <laughs> which means judging things by appearance. It only gets you into trouble. We must be wise. To rely on God's wisdom and not our own. As the story continues, the woman blames the serpent because of her disobedience. Punishment comes. The woman will bear children in great pain and will be led by men. Paradise is lost. Women will bear children in great pain, will be led by men. Paradise is lost. And today, we must fight extra hard to gain our honor extra hard to gain our voice and we will begin on a journey of discovering the woman that we were created to be how about the woman of your dreams step one love yourself love yourself when it comes to loving ourselves a lot of times we find it hard because We've been through so much and we feel like we can't overcome. And some of us even feel like we're not even worthy of love. We're not even worthy to even love ourselves. We're not even worthy to accept love because we've been either mistreated, abused, talked about, made fun of, bullied, and we can't love ourselves. How about this? Ask people in your life, why do you love me? What is it about me that you love? 
especially family and friends. Now, you know, they will be honest. And some of them be honest to a fault. Ask them what it is that you see in me that you love. What is it about me that you love? Because just because I'm a family member, I can love you in God's way, the way God says love. But just because I'm a family member, it's still things that I that a family should be able to love about you. Okay, let's do this. I'm so big on writing, so big on jotting down notes and doodling. I'm so big on that. And I know a lot of people always talk about journaling and journaling and journaling. But get a journal just for your personality. Don't get I know it's so many people, influencers and YouTubers, they sell journals, this and that. But make that journal your own. Make it the way that fits you. Like, I'll make mine to fit Angela. And you make it to fit you. Make it to fit your personality. What you, it, make it to be something that you'll want to pick up every day. Make it, make it be that. And write little notes in it every day. What you like about yourself. I like this because I'm creative. I love this about myself. I'm a good listener. Because I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of people just can't listen. Just won't listen. Have you ever talked to somebody and you couldn't even get a word in? Some people just can't listen. Look at it every day. Look at it every day and make a routine of doing something that you admire about yourself. Make it a routine. In society, we're taught that admiring oneself is selfish. But we're not talking about being um, uh, what you call vain. We're talking about something that will build up your self-worth, build up your self-esteem. Build up your mind and your spirit. We need to continue to nourish our self-worth by our own actions. It starts with you. It starts with you. You teach people how to love you. You teach people how to treat you, how you treat yourself, how you love yourself. These actions help us to be true and have joy within so we can share with others. Also, try to give yourself compliments when you accomplish things. Man, listen. I did that mac and cheese. That mac and cheese was good, wasn't it? Man, listen. That chicken was so pretty and crisp and golden brown. I'm not, you don't have to be something just magical. It don't have to be something so gigantic. Something as simple as you cooked the chicken and everybody ate it. Love yourself. Love yourself. Compliment yourself. Stop beating yourself up after every mistake you made. I like this. Have compassion for yourself. Have compassion for yourself. We might all we might not always get the love and acceptance we want or we thought we should uh, from our parents. Or from family members. As a child growing up. But the love you need is in Christ Jesus. The love that you desire is in Christ Jesus. God can heal you everywhere you are. Every broken heart. Every broken spirit. Every broken mind. God can do it. And he can make you whole again to love yourself. Somebody is just waiting on that testimony. Somebody is just waiting on that story to, for you to say how I didn't love myself at this season in my life. You know what? At 21, I couldn't stand myself. But now at 31, I think I am all of that in a bag of chips. Come on. Come on. I can share stories of being abused. I can share stories of being heartbroken. 
I can share many, many stories of being talked about. But today, I sit before you a free woman. Because now I understand who I am in God. Now I understand all the trials and tribulations. It was for somebody. It was for to tell somebody. Because he lives. I live. And I am living. Love yourself. Love yourself. It was hard for me to love the woman I once was. Because love was true. Uh, from me at an early age. I have learned that only God can love me unconditionally. Only God can love you only unconditionally. Especially when I love God and it didn't make him my priority. How many of us been there? We don't love God. And he wasn't priority in our life anymore. And when you leave God, you lose your self-worth. You end up doing anything. You end up taking anything. You end up being the butt joke of every. You're a joke. Now, you stramble your mind all over the place. Now you don't know who you are. And now you can't even grasp that little ounce of love. Love yourself. Love yourself. When you, ha when you have love like this, you can't help but to love yourself. God shows us our worth. And it is only through him that we live, that we move, and that we have our very being. God has allowed his son to die for us. So if we are worth dying for, surely you're worth living and loving for. The first step of becoming the woman of your dreams is to love yourself. Love every mole, love every skin color, love every imperfection, love every strain of hair, love everything about yourself because it belongs to God. God created you. Don't worry about what nobody else think of you. You become your better self by starting loving and forgiving yourself. Asking God to help you. If God, show me what you see. Show me who I am in you. Show me what you love about me. So it can build up my spirit, man. So it can build up my confidence. So I can walk in boldness. So I can walk in the newness of God. Because I'm becoming the woman of my dreams. The woman that God created me to be. The visions and goals and dreams that God has for me. I'm becoming that. I don't want to miss it in this season. I don't want to miss God in this season. I want to become all that God has for me. And what God has for me is my goal, is my dream, is my path, is my ministry, is my career, is my direction, is my purpose. But it starts with loving who God has created you to be. Love yourself. Love yourself. That was the first step in becoming the woman of your dreams. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself enough to say, you know what? I'm going to cut off the noise. You know what? I'm going to take this time for me. You know what? I'm not being selfish, but I need to listen for direction. I need to hear God's voice so I can find my voice. I'm becoming the woman of my dreams. Yeah, it's, it, I know it's about you. I know you think you're great. I know you think you're fabulous. But right now, I'm becoming the woman of my dreams. And it all starts with loving me. Okay? Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Share this video. Share this video. Give me your feedback. 
What steps are you making to love yourself? What steps are you making to love yourself? I'll see you in part two of Becoming the Woman of Your Dreams.